You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Yes. A um, couple things. Actually, a lot of things are up in the air here. It's true. Um, Not a whole lot of matches, though. No. As Strange. Of right now, which it's Wednesday evening, there are seven matches listed on the uh, Wikipedia page. So, yeah. Well, uh, the Chamber matches themselves are kind of long. Yeah. But... Still, you figured there'd be more. Well, how many matches were at the Royal Rumble? Like, ten? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I guess so. There was those two were... Rumbles. But how long was the Royal Rumble pay-per-view? Seven hours yeah, with was, the uh, pre-show? Long. That's fair. So this will probably be a pre-show, what, at six? Yeah. Start at seven and maybe be a three-and-a-half-hour pay-per-view, end at 10.30? But yeah, I guess so. That would make sense. So, That'd be nice. That'd be a nice change of pace. <laughs> yeah, a little bit after the Royal Rumble. Yeah. It was a... Uh... Ended at midnight. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Anyway. Mm-hmm. So, um, I guess we'll start with the pre-show. Probably a good place to start. Yeah, we got Buddy Murphy versus Akira Tozawa. All right, so wait, before we get into anything, usually, do they have usually two pre-show matches? Only on the longer pre-shows. Is it? Yeah, I they usually so. don't do one. They only do one, I mean, on normal I, ones. I think that's the case, and then for the longer ones, they do three. That's what they did this time. Yeah, that's right. We had the cruiserweight. And I think then... they did the same thing. It's uh, Survivor US title. Series. U.S. title match, right, on the pre-show? Yeah, yeah. that and the... Uh... There was another match. I don't I remember think what there was. was now. You're right. Yeah. I know there was another match. I just can't remember what it was. Yeah. The oh, that match. stupid tag match yeah. with... Uh, it yeah, was Acom and... and um, one of the members well, of the Revival yeah. versus yeah. Rude and Gable. That's yeah. right, right. So, so I, I that think happened. That, there's a possibility they could go with another match. Yeah, they could, um, but they probably won't. They got nothing. And if they do put another match on the pre-show, this has to get moved to the main card. It's true. It's true. Um, so, well, we didn't mention this on our uh, re- uh, weekly podcast. Asuka was not on SmackDown again. Nope. R-Truth was not on SmackDown again. Nope. Um, there was no tag team matches, but we saw the tag team champion, so I guess that's all that matters. It's true. But, yeah, no, no U.S. title being defended. Um, no SmackDown Women's no in the Smackdown Raw. Women's. Not Raw even tag team isn't going to be either. Yeah, and there hasn't even been a feud for the SmackDown Women's Championship since the nope. two prominent women are on feuding Smackdown. over the Raw <laughs> yeah. Women's Championship. Exactly. Makes sense. Yeah. Whatever. But, yeah, I mean... I, I, well, to be fair, I must say... I guess in theory the SmackDown or the, oh, women's, you have the tag women's tag titles is yeah. probably a little more important right now. Yeah, I would say they take precedent because you're going because like this is the first time that they're doing it, blah mm-hmm. blah blah. And the other main women's feud is going to be the main event of WrestleMania. Yeah. So I guess if you're gonna pick two, these are the two. That's fair. Because you, you literally eaten up the entire SmackDown women's division. Oh, yeah. That's that's a good point. So it's not like you have options. No, you just have the champion, and then the other two are yeah. in that mm-hmm. raw women's title picture. So, so, hey, yeah, fair point. So, uh, so, yeah. Fair point. All right, so you said pre-show match, Cruiserweight Championship, Buddy Murphy defends against Akira Tozawa. Buddy Murphy. Yeah. No I reason mean, to think he's going to drop it, especially to Tozawa. Yeah, probably not. And um, especially at Elimination Chamber. Should be a good match, though. I mean, their match at Royal Rumble is very good, the four Fatal 4-Way. Mm-hmm. Oh, so. yeah, there's no denying the fact yeah. that, well, Buddy Murphy's very good, and Tozawa's good, too. Yeah, but uh, he won the title when he was part of uh, Titus Worldwide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it's... I, I weren't think, they pushing Apollo at one point, and then we never seen him anymore? Really? Um, no, they were I think doing something with him. His push was like a month ago. Is that that long ago already? Yeah, when he faced Dean, I think, mm. when he was still champion. That's right, and then he faced Jinder a couple times. Yeah, didn't he? Yeah. So God knows where Titus is. Anyway, I think Murphy's gonna win. Yeah, no, I'm think? I'm gonna agree with you All on right. that one. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then we'll talk about the uh, women's uh, tag team elimination chamber match. Sure. You think that'll open the show? It's possible. But yeah, it's Nia Jackson, Tamina versus the Riot Squad. Uh, I guess the members Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan, Mandy Rose, and Sonya Deville, the Iconics, Naomi, and um, Carmella. Carmella. Bailey and, and Sasha. Yeah, Bailey and Sasha. 
Uh, Bailey and Sasha and Mandy and Sonya are going to be the ones who enter first yes. because they got pinned during their matches on Raw and mm-hmm. SmackDown this week. Yep. Um, going into not even the, I guess, the unveilment of the division, but the I, the inception of the idea of the division, mm-hmm. um, it's been, oh, it's going to be Sasha and Bailey. Yeah. Um, I mean, and there's really no reason to think otherwise <laughs> yeah unless they give it to the iconics yeah but like they would be the only option besides that i think piss everybody off put yeah. all three members of the riot squad with titles I, yeah you mean have uh ruby, ruby win? beat you really Rousey. want her to win i do you keep on pushing that. i do i like ruby yeah um mike uh not michael cole um cory graves said that all three of them could have the title <laughs> it's true so there is a fair point. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's going to be Sasha and Bailey or the Iconics, one or the other. Are you kidding? They're going to put Nia Jackson to Mina. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen is they'll probably eliminate a couple of teams. And yeah. Then, and they'll, then they'll get eliminated by whoever. Honest, it'll team. probably come down to those two against Sasha and Bailey. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't know. 100% if Sasha is cleared, but they haven't made mention otherwise. Bailey did an interview after Raw, mm-hmm. and she said that Sasha is going to be there. Okay. Well, it was obviously a WWE exclusive interview, but I don't think they would have done that if they weren't planning on having her there. No. That's so. a fair point. We'll see. Yeah. So you're going to go with Bailey and Sasha then? Yeah, I kind of don't have a choice because I don't true. really want anybody else to win. Yeah. Like I said, it's just going to be so interesting how they book it post this because it's going to work across both brands. Yeah, um, it's true. There's no... the Well, I guess it really doesn't matter because I was going to say there's no w- reason to think that, like, oh, if, if a raw person wins it, then there's going to be more possible right. opponents because it's both. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, I, I think... Bailey and Sasha is definitely the logical choice to go with. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll be interesting if they hold this till Mania, what that match would be. Obviously, I'm talking two months ahead of now, but it'll probably be them versus Nia Jackson to Mania. That would make sense because they won't have anything else to do at Mania. Right. Or you're going to get all the teams teaming up against Nia Jackson and Tamina because they're the bigger. Yeah, but I think or, usually when they do stuff like that, the big people... Uh, power out of it it's true so we'll see it's gonna be interesting Mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting it's true and the two teams starting or ones all four of them were in the elimination chamber last year right it's true yeah Yeah. the elimination chamber was the four of them mandy sonia sasha and bailey and then alexa i think that was everybody yeah i think there's only five of them last year yeah mickey wasn't in it. no it had to be six because the chamber matches are always six um i don't think mickey was I don't know who don't the sixth remember. person was, but I'm almost positive that... Well, I should say I know it was them. Let's see. Elimination Chamber 2018 real quick. Oh, I'm already on it, buddy. Son of a... I'm already on it. Uh, oh, it was Mickey. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Touche. That match went a half hour last year? I guess. I don't no, know yeah, and then the thing. men's went 40 minutes, so... Well, the tag team one will probably take a little longer. So basically what you're saying is the two Elimination Chamber matches are the length of one Royal Rumble. Yeah, pretty much. But I think they'll go a little longer this year. Maybe. We'll see. Um. Anyway. Yep. So um, we're both going to pick Bailey yeah, and Sasha. Makes the most sense. It does. Uh, we got Mick, Mick Miz, <sighs> I guess. Jesus. That's what they're going with. Versus the Usos for the SmackDown uh, Tag Team Championships. Oh. Well, the good news is the Usos are going to win. You know, I hope so. However, well, actually, let, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Would you rather see The Miz and Shane team together at WrestleMania or face each other at WrestleMania? I'd rather them team together. but I still Yeah, think probably. I, I don't think they're going to, but no. I'd much rather them team together. Yeah, I, I think so, because I, I don't liked see my idea. that being an attraction as Shane McMahon yeah. versus The Miz. Yeah. I liked my idea of having the two of them first, Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan. It's not the worst idea. Yeah. Just because, I don't know, who who the hell knows if Daniel Bryan's going to keep that title. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's, uh, it's tough to say. Mm-hmm. The odds are definitely not in his favor. Nope. 
So you're gonna pick the Usos? Yeah, I think they're gonna win. I yeah. like I said, I'd rather see the two of them team and together. But that's I feel like the SmackDown tag titles being defended at WrestleMania is just gonna be a rematch of some feud mm-hmm. we've seen throughout the year, which I guess the same thing would be said on Raw. It's true. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's nothing going on on Raw. No. Last no. year it was Braun Strowman and a child <laughs> versus the Bar. <laughs> so. Yep. Anyway. Yep. All right, so yeah, I'm going to have to side with you. Right, you keep on picking the same says. people as me. That's no fun. Well, you know. All right, Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin. I Big mean, money feud right there. I mean... Definitely lost a lot of its, um, I guess, momentum. Yeah, and Braun still had a good pop when he came out on Monday. No, I'm not saying Braun lost his momentum. Just I meant the, the feud. Oh. They, because, they you know... did nothing people, for how long? People really wanted to see Braun kill Corbin, though. Oh, that's true. I'm sure people still will want to see that. I know, but it's not It's not as interesting as it that's was. That's true. Um, but I would imagine Braun wins here, right? I don't know. I. You know what? I think Corbin's going to end up going over due to McIntyre, and it's going to lead to McIntyre versus Strowman finally. Maybe. That would make sense. At Mania. That'd be a better match. Yeah. I think that's that's where we should go at Mania, and then probably... You mean matches that are good? Yeah. <laughs> the thing we don't often always get. That's true. Yeah. Um, I like your idea. I'm still going to go up around here. All right. Though. There you go. See, you bitching that I was choosing the same people as you, and now I want a diff- different route. Finally. Yeah. Anyway, all right, all right. Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush versus Finn Balor for Bobby Lashley's Intercontinental Championship. Now, is Baron Corbin really going to win at a pay per view, though? <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> so here is my question. Uh huh. Can He's gonna pin Leo and then win the title? Do you think so? I don't know. I was going to say, is it possible for Leo to somehow win the championship if he pins Finn? <laughs> I don't know. They didn't. Uh... They didn't go in because to detail. With I that. wouldn't put it past them to have um, Bobby Lashley or Finn get pinned by Leo Rush and have Bobby Lashley turn on Rush and then. We hit those. I don't say lane? no. I'm not saying it, it's a good idea. I'm just saying I wouldn't put it past them. <sighs> you know, when they're given the opportunity to do something stupid, they usually they do, do something stupid. Yeah, yeah. So I, I guarantee you he's going to try. Yeah. I just don't know what the rules are. That's the thing. Yeah, that's good. Like, we've seen, like, matches where two people are going for the same championship mm-hmm. on the same team. Yeah. But not necessarily. They're usually defend not defending the title. They're usually yeah. going for the title. That's like true. Like, last year with, uh, uh, it was Owens and Zayn versus AJ. Mm-hmm. Right. Where, yeah. they, where they were going for AJ's title. Right. Not the other way around. Yeah. That's so this true. is weird. That's um, true. But at least they, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I got nothing. So you Finn's think not going to Finn... win here? No. Oh, you don't think Finn's going to win? I don't. I. I'd like Finn to win. I would. I think he should win. Yeah, it makes the most sense. But I feel like they're probably going to save it for him to win it at Mania. Or that something would make like sense. That. Yeah. So they're going to drag this feud out. Yeah, Bobby Lashley's probably going to win. Yeah. Or I should say, the team of the mm-hmm. two of them are probably going to win. Most likely, I'm going to agree with you there. Yeah. Uh. Don't like it, but yeah, it's true. Know. What are you going to do? Not much. All right. Ronda... Re- Sorry, I mean, realistically, ahead. if Finn picks up the title, who's he going to face at Mania? Bobby Lashley. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nah, well, they could do something different. We'll see. Um, But yeah, now we Finn got... Finn Versteen. What? Finn Versteen. That's possible. He needs a match. Yeah. And have one. His farewell. That's, farewell that's tour. goodbye. Yeah. Uh, Ronda Rousey versus Ruby Riot for the Raw Women's Championship. Well, we already know who I want to win. Yeah. Ronda's going to win, though. Yeah. No way, no <clears throat> how does she lose. No. Um, I mean, I, I would assume that the Riot Squad will be at ringside. But they already had involved. a match. So it doesn't mean anything. I guess that's true. Yeah, make Ruby look good. I mean, Ronda's really never had any pay-per-view matches that have been squash matches. That's true. Yeah. Even the match what, with Nikki. What's the point in having... A squash match? match that's a squash it's yeah. true it doesn't make any sense they've yeah. done it before it, it doesn't make any sense I, I didn't say they haven't i'm just saying it wouldn't make sense but uh but yeah ruby will look all pretty good and then ronda's gonna win i mean that's really all that matters i'm sure you don't want to no you don't want to hurt the division especially if ronda doesn't stick around so. yeah but i i feel like the way they set it up with a triple threat if that's the route that it ends up going that it'll still stem off to something else 
Well, what, what do you mean? Like, like if Ronda Becky versus... ends up pinning Charlotte or something uh-huh. like that, and then Ronda never gets beat by Becky, so it's going to continue or something like that. Well, if what the claims are with her wanting to leave to start a family... It's true. She's going to lose. She's going to retain her I've never been pinned status, so if she does come back... Yeah. So I think that's I what's going to happen. So she'll lose her title but never have actually lost, and she can come back if she wants and say that I've never been... And that'll immediately insert her into a championship feud. Fair point. That's my thought. Fair point. Um, so. Main event, maybe. Well. <laughs> we joked about this a couple of weeks back. Because yeah, this is literally the first time that it, it should be the first time since the brand split that the WWE Championship main evented a pay-per-view that had both mm-hmm. shows on it. I mean, Not even... Not even that it played second fiddle to Universal Championship. No, it was the number one contenders yeah. championship. It was any dual brand pay per view. Insane. Yeah, I, I, we got an opportunity here. Well, to be fair, we don't have an opportunity. It's just crazy that <laughs> this is the first time it's happened. Well, Roman Reigns and Samoa Joe did a main event over a uh, WWE Championship. Yeah, match. exactly. <laughs> it made no sense. A match that literally made people Nothing. leave early. Hey, they had Whatever. to beat the traffic. Yeah. All right. So we got Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles versus Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton versus Samoa Joe versus Kofi Kingston. Uh, we know Randy's going in last. You know, I'm very surprised they didn't have Joe win that because he always wins matches that have not, you know, that That's true. he never, never wins. I think they were too excited about the idea of having Orton, Orton finish. just come out yeah. with an RKO out of nowhere and I win. Think, yeah. I think they... They said gauntlet match, and then they came out with the ending. Randy's like, I'm not wrestling that long. Yeah. Vince probably came up with the ending, and then the rest of it. He's like, do whatever you want with the rest of it. (laughs) I'm going to book the final four seconds. You do the rest. That's how I wanted to end. I really don't care about anything else. (laughs) That's exact. That's why Kofi. Kofi, that guy's still on the roster? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So. Oh, Um, boy. But, yeah, we, uh, we talked about this. Literally no obvious WrestleMania feud for anybody. No. Um, we don't know if there's going to be a number one contenders match f- at Fastlane for whoever the champion is. I would assume. Um, but my point is that we don't know. Right. Um, it's kind of hard to pick a number one contender outside of that, though. Yeah. And there's no built-in feuds or nothing I mean, you have AJ and Daniel Bryan still. Well, yeah, but you also have AJ and... Samoa Joe. True. Um, you can say Jeff and Randy Orton. Right. AJ and Orton have had a little bit in the past. Jeff and Joe. Oh, so yeah, yeah, they didn't really. <laughs> there are hints. And Kofi. <laughs> well, I guess. Yeah. Well, I just mean he thro- he's yeah, thrown yeah. in. Yeah. So there, there's stuff, nothing substantial, nothing that says, oh, this is what I want. Now, if The Miz was in this match... Oh, boy, here we go. It'd be a different story. Yeah, well, he's with his buddy Shane. I know, it's a real shame. Yeah. They had the perfect opportunity. Everything lined up exactly how I wanted it to, except for the stupid, sweaty old man (laughs) decided he wanted to be the best wrestler in the world. Son, what do you want for Christmas this year? Dad, I want to be tag team champions more than anything. You got it, pal. Oh, my God. So bad. (laughs) Anyway, since I can't think of a reason not to, I'm going to pick... Samoa Joe. I'm going to pick Daniel Bryan. (laughs) Well, he'd be the first champion to retain inside the Elimination Chamber. What are you talking about? Isn't he... Didn't they say that no. nobody's retained before? That is a million percent not true. Oh, I could have sworn they said he that He did it himself. Oh, did he? Yes. Oh, I could have sworn so- <laughs> the WWE outright said it. No, they were. Uh, Corey Graves said last night that oh, uh, hype, hyping up the, um, the number six spot, mm. that Daniel Bryan entered at number six, uh, I think it was in like 2013, mm. and retained his WWE championship. Ah, so. gotcha. Yeah, maybe it was somebody was, else. Too. That was the one where it was Daniel Bryan. I think Kofi was in it too. Daniel I Bryan, it. Kofi, Cody Rhodes, who? <laughs> um, <laughs> Mark Henry, <laughs> and I think Damian Sandow might have been in it. It was. Oh boy, it was bad. Yeah, for oh the boy. World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. So, well, let's see. Don't want AJ to win it. 
Don't want Daniel Bryan to win it. Don't want Jeff Hardy to win it. Don't want Randy Orton to win it. Don't want Samoa Joe to win it. Don't want Kofi to win it. I want Kofi to win it. No, I do want Kofi to win it. Then we can have the New Day... uh, Defend the title underneath the um, the Freebird rule. Yep. That's a great idea. And then have a triple threat WrestleMania match, all three of them. That's fine. WWE title, Shield. It's like the Shield should have done. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That'd be cool. That's not going to happen. That'd be awesome, though. It would be. It would be fantastic. Um... I don't know, man. I still feel like they're going to put the title on Randy after that AEW news. It's possible. He's I'm going to go number with six. the boring That's Viper. fine. That's fine. And then we're going to get... AJ's going to win another number one contenders match. No, we're gonna get no. AJ Here's what's going to happen. Orton. Randy Orton's going to win. They're going to have that number one contenders match, mm-hmm. but... Um, Jeff's going to get attacked before the match, mm-hmm. and it's going to be Bray Wyatt. He's going to win <laughs> the gonna... number one contenders match. <laughs> Now, WrestleMania is going to be a rematch a couple years ago. <laughs> Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. One Bugs of, everywhere. One of the worst WrestleMania matches ever, and yep. we're going to get a rematch. Yes. WWE, book it. Yes, do it again. No, yeah, I'm going to go with Randy Orton. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's my choice. Yeah. I love the Bray Wyatt coming back, though. Yeah. That's brilliant. That's what they're waiting for. He's <laughs> He's been cleared. It's, it's, they're going to strike God. like the Viper. A perfect timing. Oh God. Mm-hmm. No. So yeah, that was uh that's everything, I hope. That that was everything, and unless they add more matches, but you know this it's is, possible. This is our prediction, so we're not gonna go back for one match. It's true. So But uh Yeah, so that was our two thousand nineteen WWE Elimination Chamber predictions video. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.